and welcome to That's Just Prime. And today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers United Optimus Primal. And I love this toy. Originally released in February of 2012, this guy is an import and originally retailed for approximately 2,700 yen, which with the rate of conversion at the time uh, was anywhere between 25 to 30 dollars. Now, um, this guy has had several repaints and several reissues. This is not the original issue of this toy. This was uh, uh, the United figure itself was a reissue of the original. The original figure was a Beast Wars 10th anniversary and it was released in 2006. It retailed for approximately $15. And that guy came with a little miniature die-cast version of the Axelon, which was the ship that the Beast Wars Maximals came to Earth in. So, And, and, and there was a couple other uh, um, issues and repaints and whatnot. I think the cheapest one of those would have been the uh, Energon or the Cybertron. I think it was the Cybertron had a repaint. It wasn't in these colors. It was more like a brown uh, repaint. And uh, he also came out in 2006, and that guy went for about 10 bucks. But this particular guy here, um, I got him uh, not too long ago. He was the uh, the United reissue uh, because I missed out on the 10th anniversary figure originally. So here in eight mode, uh, uh, Optimus is approximately he can hunch down to about four inches, uh, or you can stand him straight up, and he can extend all the way out to about five and a half, which is pretty nice. So if you want to do that. Uh, and Optimal, or Optimus here is a pretty cool uh, reimagining of that Beast Wars Optimus Primal where he transformed into an ape. Uh, this is more of a, uh, it, it's, it's kind of a Cybertronian or robotic ape. It's not as organic as the original Optimus Primal look. And he also came with this uh, cool little surfboard here. And, uh, and he also came with a key. Uh, you know, the Cybertron also had the key and whatnot. So, uh, this is pretty cool. And I, and I think this was kind of reminiscing back to the way I look at this figure. It's kind of like a mix between the original Optimus Primal and the Transmetal Optimus Primal, where he had this flight mode where his legs kind of extended out and made a bit of a, a, a surfing flight mode for him. It kind of looked like he was surfing through the air. And I think that's kind of what they were going for with this guy because he's very. Uh, it's kind of like a robotic-ish version of the original Optimus Primal, but then he's got the surfboard, so you you know you've got this flying surfboard thing that you can do here, which is pretty cool. Uh, and it's a surfing monkey, so I know it's an ape, not a monkey. Please don't burn my ass on on the comment section, but I know. So, uh, but just surfing monkey sounds funnier than surfing gorilla or surfing ape. But yeah, there you go. It's a surfing gorilla. I love that. That reminds me, uh, takes me back to the TNC Surf Designs uh, game that I had on my Nintendo when I was a kid. So there you go. That's cool. And then, of course, there. Uh, if you want to, there's a little firing mechanism on this that uh, you can do. You can let's see. Let's for the sake of safety, let's just go ahead and plug them into both right there. And then you can take your uh, Cybertron key right here, plug it into the back, and that's going to extend. The side, that really didn't show off very well, did it? Let's go over here on this side. So you can uh, ex just uh, insert the key right here on the back of the board, and that's going to extend that. kind of makes like a blade kind of thing, but more importantly, it uh, reveals this button on the side here. So when you press on this button, let's see if I can do that where it shows on camera. Nope, let's just take Optimus off. Come on, Mr. Optimus, get off the board. All right, so you've got that button right there. Press on that button, shoots a missile, and... Here's a look at your missile right there. So you can uh, have Optimus flying around doing some sky surfing while he's blowing off people's faces. So that's awesome. I love that. This is a cool little figure. I really do like it. It's it's just a fun, fun little figure. Now, because he is an ape, he's going to have articulation. So let's take a look at that. Um, unfortunately, you don't have any articulation on the head. The head is sort of fixed right there. So that's a shame. No articulation on the head. But you've got ball jointed shoulders. So all over the place with these guys. Ball jointed elbows. Again, all over the place. Bend and rotation. Ball jointed wrist right there. So you can go in and out. Rotation again. Uh, nothing at the waist, unfortunately. Ball jointed hips. So again, in and out. Forward, backwards, all over the place. Ball jointed knees. In and out, forward, backwards, rotation. And then you've got these hinged feet right here, which is nice because you actually have, I guess this, this is going to be the ankle. So that's hinged, but then also the knuckles are hinged. So you can do that as well. And then also the uh, the thumb 
I guess, or what would you call it? If it's the foot, it's the big toe, I guess, or I, I don't know what to call it. But that is on a ball joint as well, so that can go all over the place. You can actually point that if, you know, oh my God, that looks broken and painful. But anyway, you can do that if you want to do that. That's completely up to you. Your toy, play with it any way you want. So the, let's take one last look at Optimus right here. We'll put him on the surfboard and get one last shot of him. Surfing monkey, there you go. <laughs> I love that so much. I can't gush enough on that. And we'll get into the transformation. Transformation for this guy is really interesting. Uh, he does some crazy stuff where obviously you're, you're probably already seeing that his arms, his gorilla arms are going to turn into his robot legs. His gorilla legs are going to turn into his robot arms. So this guy is going to do this thing where he just kind of flips around like so, and then his entire body is going to rotate around. You'll see. It's really, really crazy. So just to get started, I'm just going to go ahead and straighten out all his limbs like so. Just a, it just a really good job of getting everything out of the way. I'm going to start right here at the abdomen. We're going to go ahead and split this. This is two plates right here. So you can go ahead and split these, and these are on hinges, so you can rotate them all the way out just like so. I'll go ahead and take the gorilla face, and we're going to split this from the, the hump right there, just like so. And this is neat, because check this out. When you pull this down, you can see the robot head right there. So you can kind of pretend like this whole ape part was a mask, and the robot was in there looking through that ape mask the whole time. I love that. That's so cool. So go ahead and fold that down, and then the ape face is going to just rotate in just like so. Leave that out like that for now. Okay, we are going to, this is, this gets really crazy. So go ahead and take the, uh, this gray part right here, and this is going to rotate. So you're going to want to, let's see, it's, it's, it gets, it gets weird. This brown part, the, the back of the ape right here, we're just going to go ahead. That's on a double hinge there and there. So just pull that up for now. And then take this center plate. This is going to be the robot chest, just, just the center and pull that out like so. That's going to open. And once you open that, that's going to allow you to rotate it. So now once you bring this up, once you get everything out like that, you're going to notice the arms and the legs, these are kind of spring loaded. So they're going to kind of X out like so. You see that? They were like this in ape mode and now they come out like that. But that's, that's spring loaded. Check that out. Very cool. So go ahead and let them do that. And then you're going to bring this whole thing up. You're going to want to bring the ape back. Once you let the, the, the legs come together like so, go ahead and bring the ape face and just kind of bring it all the way down so his ape face is in his butt we're going to want to rotate this whole thing so that the ape back comes up and over where it's going to become the arms now so we're going to kind of want to go over that take this gray piece rotate it down and when you do this all these things kind of have to happen at the same time so it's difficult to show one at a time so bring that gray piece down and i'm going to continue pushing down on the uh, ape back while i do that and bring the chest all the way down, and then go ahead and close the chest, like so. So yeah, it's 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 kind of this is a very weird figure to show, because especially when you're trying to do a step by step transformation, because there's like three or four things there just now that all happen at the same time. So uh, straighten out the legs right here. We're gonna take the what was the knuckles for the ape mode. Go ahead and extend these out to form the feet, and then just straighten out the arms. And uh, go ahead and bring his thumb down. And there is Optimus Primal in robot mode. And well, how about we do this? Just because we can. <laughs> we have the articulation. So how about we do that? Just because we can. There you go. There is Optimus Primal in robot mode. And I think he looks awesome. Here in robot mode, Optimus is approximately five and a half inches tall. And I really love the detail and the paint on this guy. It's really, again, reminiscent of that first version of Optimus Primal that we got on the show with all the blacks and the grays and the little just red hints on his chest and the uh, and the face itself. Now, the face is a little more, uh, what do you want to call it, like more Cybertronian, more robotic uh, than the original Optimus Primal did. Uh, but it's a very cool face. We'll bring him in closer. You can take a look at that. Um, I really like... The head sculpt on this guy it just it's a cool head sculpt it's like an updated more techy looking version of that first optimus primal and you can see all the detail you see all the uh all the dark 
uh, on the arms right there, and then you got the gray chest with the red detail there. It's it's just really really nice. I really enjoy this figure. Now you've got these uh, these flaps right here. That uh, was the kind of the first step that we did. Uh, open those up in the in the ape mode. Uh, I tend to leave them back like that. Um, now that does create a little more backpack for him. Um, I know some people like to bring them down like so, and you know you can do so either either way you want. I tend to leave them up because when they're down like that, it kind of makes them look a little fatter. So I kind of like the sleek look of this robot. So I tend to leave them like that. That doesn't really bother me a whole lot. Um, as far as articulation in robot mode, he does have, again, this is ball joints all over the place with this guy, which is fantastic. So, you got a ball jointed head. Other than, uh, other than that, it's pretty much going to be the same articulation as the ape with the addition of the ball jointed head right here. So, ball jointed, what is now the uh, shoulders are ball jointed, the elbows are ball jointed. Um, you can see that the arms, uh, now you have a hinged uh, wrist, I suppose you can call that the wrist. You got hinged knuckles and a ball jointed thumb. So he can give you a thumbs up. Ball jointed hips, ball jointed um, knees, and uh, ball jointed ankles with a little bit of a hinge or a tilt right there at the toes. So yeah, it's a little better or a little improved articulation. Over the eight mode, he looks fantastic. And I love the fact that he's giving you thumbs up. I just think that looks hilarious. I love it. Now, uh, bringing the, uh, the board back into play, um, fortunately, you can you can ride him and you can play with him as if he's riding, but there's no uh, peg holes on the bottom of his feet like he did for the uh, for the eight mode. You know, in the eight mode, you had those peg holes right there. Let's see if we can can we see that in camera? Yeah, yeah. So you can see that right there. You got the peg holes, which is where these pegs went in the ape mode. We don't have that for the robot mode, unfortunately. So he's not going to have, he's not going to be able to stand on the board now. If you can get him the balance up here, then hey, that's awesome. Hey, there you go, just like so. But you know, the first time you try to move him around, he's going to fall. So that's just something to note. Now, he does have an attack mode. And the way you're going to do that is you're going to have him hold the board kind of like. Uh, the guys used to hold their boom boxes back in the 80s. These giant boom boxes, they would just walk around the beach holding them like so. So there you go. So you can have them hold it like that. And now it's going to kind of work as it's supposed to be kind of like a bazooka. So you have them hold it like so. And he can balance just fine with it. As you can see, I'm not really having a whole lot of trouble getting him to stand with it like right there so and then once again the uh, cyber key is going to come into play where you're going to press the cyber key in and it's going to fall off <laughs> okay it's going to fall off and then you're going to have to put it back in but then this top part here this is going to just pop out and extend it kind of makes it look like a blade but then more importantly again it's going to reveal that button right there when, when you press on the button one more time it's going to shoot that missile um, it's a uh, spring-loaded missile, so it shoots okay. Uh, over time, that's, it's going to shoot a little less and less. It doesn't shoot quite as much as it used to when I first got it. So there you go. There's, uh, there's his attack mode so that he can blow somebody's face off with that. So, And I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to give him... I, I, I love the thumbs up, so I'm going to do it again. <laughs> and I'm going to give him the most hilarious pose that I can come up with right now on the fly. And I think when his guy goes back on my shelf... I think he's going to go back on my shelf like that because that looks cool. Oh, that's hilarious. I love it. We can get him centered in. And I think that pretty much does it for Transformers United Optimus Primal. What did you think of this figure, and what would you like to see me review next? Let me know by leaving me a comment. Give me some thumbs up. Yeah, just like that. Give me some thumbs up. Subscribe and share with your friends if you like what you see, and I'll talk to you next time on That's Just Prime.